What's up to those loving web design and development? Welcome back or for the first time to DLJ Works, where all things related to web dev and design is taught and discussed. All right, so in this video, what I am going to show you how to actually do on any hosting company, but since my primary hosting and I always love working with is just host, I'm going to show you how to actually add an external SSL certificate with just host. Now, why would I be doing this when I can obviously get an SSL certificate through just host itself? Well, most of the time it's for cost reasons, okay? Especially if I'm just trying to, when I'm working with clients and I just need something that will actually show Google, show other major browsers that this website is legitimate and that's really the only goal right now, especially if it's an information website I'm using and working with for a client, that they don't really need the actual SSL certificate that gives them all these extra features. So you have here things like positive SSL, positive wildcard, Komodo SSL, Komodo wildcard SSL, the recommended. These are pretty high up there in price. So unless you have an, unless you're actually working on a website for somebody or for yourself and you know, it's doing some really big things. Like it's constantly doing e-commerce purchases online. You have a lot of private information going over. You're taking in people's information. That will probably be necessary to have such an SSL as that. For this website that I'm personally working on for somebody else, that's not even the case. So we just need something to actually show to Google any other browsers that this website is secure and actually it's to show you know people that's visiting the website that's getting the information hey this is a really good website i'm protected when i'm browsing on here so that's actually the ultimate goal and even if we go here to the positive one the cheapest one that they have which is 417 a month okay this will actually turn out to be 49 dollars 99 per year so um that's something that we that isn't really necessary so we're going to go back and we're actually going to go to a website called WP Look. Okay. Actually, I did this with one of my own websites that I actually have. So if I type in HTTPS www.isgodforgetsme.com. All right. We can actually see that the website that I actually have, and this is uh, another website that's for me. That's for me, not for a client. It's my biblical website, but it uses an external SSL certificate that comes from this same website. WP look because I just didn't need it for the <laughs> I didn't need a positive SSL certificate because this is just a, a standard informational website and people just need to know that it is secure um, I'm not taking any information over this at all this is just a blog website okay the only information I actually um, collect is probably email address and that's through an external site such as Aweber which I'll leave a link in the description for you to check that out as well all right so Going back to this, let's go ahead and go back to WP Look. What we're going to do, and this is a blog post because I was just researching one day how to actually get one and not pay so much money. And they actually sell a SSL certificate for cheap. Okay. They actually sell one for the cheap. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get your SSL certificate cheap. All right. And now what we want, actually, what we want is not the strong business level or maximum protection. We want the basic security package here at this moment so we're going to click buy okay and it tells you right here that you can get rapid SSL issuance time is in minutes great for personal websites warranty value is ten thousand dollars site seal get all that free reissues browser support all right and we're going to go ahead and do we can actually do for two years possibly but in case we want to upgrade or anything to that sort we're going to go ahead and probably just stick with the 1995 um, version at this point in time just in case we want to upgrade to maybe something serious and make that decision for later on so I'm going to go ahead and click buy now all right and if we could do two years okay which I for this for this moment we're we'll probably just go ahead and just do two years seventeen dollars and forty eight cents because it's cheaper well let me let me say this if you're wanting to upgrade to a different ssl certificate because maybe you decided to expand and you're going to need the you know more than just basic security then let's just go ahead and just stick with one year let's not get caught up in it being cheap you need to just go ahead and give yourself some actual breathing room because you don't know how things will change and how your website will actually grow within a year or so 
all right so that that is it's very tempting to do the 1798 but really think about what where you're going to be at you know within a year if you're just sticking with a basic personal website and you know that's all you want to do you're just dead set on that then go ahead and do two years but for now we're going to do this so um so yes so now what we're going to do is we're going to choose okay we're not going to log in to add this to an existing hosting package well, actually, I already do. This is a domain. So let me see. Log in to add an existing hosting package. All right. So this is going to be done through my account. So now I'm going to do. Right, committed to win.com. Okay, next I'm going to check out. So now we have our domain, which is committed to win.com. Right, so here I'm just going to use my PayPal account. So we're going to have, have agreed to the terms and service. So it's a good idea to go ahead and maybe right click, open link, and new tab. Check that out. Hosting terms of service. Okay. And then kind of go from there. Complete order. All right. So you paid $19.95 USD and set up a subscription. So we are successful here. So now we actually have the invoice. Okay. For our our SSL rapid hosting SSL certificate. So now what we need to do is next go ahead and add our just toast website. Okay. All right. So now here, as you can see, we get an email confirmation showing us that uh, configuration. So you want to wait for this email confirmation SSL certificate configuration required. So now what you need is once you get this email, Thank you for your order of an SSL certificate. Before you can use your certificate, it requires configuration, which can be done at the URL below. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this configuration. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in again. Once you log in, you'll actually be taken to this configure SSL certificate screen here. OK, it says configure SSL certificate. So when we get to this part, this is the tricky part. You must have a valid CSR, which stands for Certificate Signer Request, to configure your SSL certificate. That CSR is an encrypted piece of text that is generated by the web server where the SSL certificate will be installed. If you don't already have a CSR, you must generate one. Okay, so now that's what we actually need to do. We need to generate an SSL. Okay, so the way that we're going to actually do that, okay, and I'm going to go back here. Now, JustHost provides an actual description on how you can actually generate your own uh, private key. So the first thing that we actually need to do, or I'm sorry, we need to generate a CSR. In the SSL manager page, click Generate View or Delete SSL Certificate Sign Request. Enter the domain required into the information form. Press Generate button. All right. So when we go here to this page, what we actually need to do here, we need to go to Security. And this is going to be on the Advanced. If your back end looks like this, when you're in the just host, your back end will look like this. We want to go to SSL TLS. Okay, that's where we need to go to right now. So let's go ahead and click on that. And now we're going to simply generate certificate signer request. Okay, generate view or delete SSL certificate signer request. All right, now what we need to do is continue to follow these directions. Okay, enter the domain and require information in the form. Okay, so what we want to actually do, let's scroll down here to see the web server type. And this is actually going to be cPanel. That's what we're under. We're going to be under a cPanel. Okay, so this is a cPanel. All right, and the CSR that we're going to actually do right here. Let's go back here. Okay, into the domain and the required information into the form. So now that's what the next thing that we want to do. The key is for committed to win. Okay. Let me see here. Generate a new 2048 bit key. Let's just leave it like that. 
All right, so from this, I'm not going to put a passphrase or anything like that. It's not really required, but it says here, some certificate authorities may require CSRs to have a passphrase. The certificate authority can use a CSR passphrase to confirm the identity of the person or organization from whom you wish to communicate. Okay, CSR passphrase is a store unencrypted in a CSR because of this, and also because you will store a passphrase, do not use an important password here. So we don't want to use it. You can use a passphrase here if you want to. For the sake of this, we're not going to do that at all at this time. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. I'm not even going to, well, not a description. And we'll say, um, for the committed to win website. You don't have to add anything here. You can just go ahead and just, kind of leave it as is we're going to go to generate all right so what we want to do now is we want to go ahead and get this code right here okay we want to get this encoded certificate sign and request code here okay and then from here we want to go back to let's see here we want to go back here and place that code in between where it says begin certificate request and certificate request. We don't want to, I didn't need to copy the words begin certificate request and end it because we're going to now just add it, all that other stuff here, okay? And then I am the administrative uh, contact information. Let's see here. It has your address, all this other stuff also listed here that will also be necessary as well. And for the most part, as you can already probably tell, most of the private information will be blurred out, okay? Um, just for the sake of privacy reasons, and plus, I just don't want my information being out there as well. But you can see all the name fields, the form fields, and everything that I've actually had to fill out throughout this whole tutorial. You just replace whatever you, you just replace what information I'm putting in there into what you need to put in there also at this time. So we're going to go ahead and click continue. Okay, when you get to certificate approver email, we're going to leave this as who is dot at justhost.com. And remember, I'm doing this. If you're following this tutorial, I only recommend one hosting service, and that is Just Host. Fantastic, very easy to use. They make it so simple for the person. If you're somebody that's just needing a website and you need certain features, is right for it. even beginners. If you're an advanced web developer and you're you have clients, you're freelance, and this is just a good hosting service to actually use. And I think they're actually a subsidiary of actually Bluehost. So either way, Bluehost, I actually am doing Just Host directly. That's it for them. So we're going to do who is at justhost.com. Hit continue, and configuration is complete. So now what we're going to do next. It says your SSL certificate configuration has now been completed and sent to the certificate authority for validation. You should receive an email from them shortly. So now I'm going to go back to the client area. Okay. And I have the rapid SSL certificate for committed to win. Now what we need to actually do. Okay. To make sure that this SSL certificate is actually working in the way that it needs to. We need to now go ahead and check on our website our actual website so that's what we're going to do next all right so now you'll notice that this is actually saying not secure at the moment so we're about to change that all right so in the process of actually doing this we're going to go ahead and go to security i'm sorry settings and we want to go to permalinks okay and going to permalinks actually no it's not permalinks it's not permalinks at all let me go back I think it's going to be general. Okay, now these two things right here, we want to go ahead and add an S. And the minute that now I want to warn, the minute that I actually save this, my uh, WordPress website is going to actually show that, um, or this WordPress website is actually going to show that there's an error that's about to occur. But don't worry, that's going to be an easy fix. So let's go ahead and click Save Changes. Okay, as you can see, it went back here because now, as we refresh, everything is set up and our rapid SSL certificate is easily applied to our committed to win website. Okay, it's already set up there. So, underneath the video, go to the description, click the show more or read more area, 
click on the DLJ Works link listed here and sign up to the mailing list to get content updates and exclusive service discounts and freebies from DLJ Works and also become exclusive to content not available anywhere else.